Well, right now, welcome back to CMB Extra. It's me, Chester, to talk to you about some more news, updates, all that type of stuff. So, over the past month or so, which I haven't, you know, talked about, Spongebob Squarepants about getting your bottom rehydrated, that's because there hasn't been these massive news releases. We haven't gotten, like, new gameplay or stuff along those lines, but there's been small stuff that's happened which hasn't warranted its own video, but I decided I'd wait, wait for some stuff to build up, and then do a bigger video talking about all of it. So that, that's what this video is. So let's get into some of the uh, stuff that's happened as of late. So the main thing that uh, happened realistically was the release date debacle, which happened a few weeks ago, I'm not 100% sure, no, sure. I was so close to making a video on it, but I was like, nah, I will hold off a few days <laughs> and see what happens. And I'm kind of glad I did. Um, so. I'm not 100% sure who exactly started it uh, when it came to my attention when Riders DX um, did a video about it. Um, and I watched his video about it, it was a great video, and I, I'm fairly sure he might have broken the news because someone contacted him about it, and basically uh, it looked like Nintendo had leaked by accident uh, their, like, their plan for the next one of their conference live streamy things. I'm not sure what they're called, I've forgotten, I'm having a mind blank. Uh, Nintendo Directs, that's what it is. Uh, in one of the Nintendo Directs, basically the next one, which was they were going to talk about the SpongeBob game, the new SpongeBob game, because uh, of course it's getting a Switch version, and they had a release date on it. And the release date changed a few times, but it was around, Mar uh, but it was around May twentieth to I think twenty fourth. I think it, it jumped around around those dates a few times because I think they changed it or something like that. So everyone kind of lost their minds, especially on my um, on the Discord server, the Nick, Nick Fans United server, which you should definitely join if you're a Nickelodeon fan. Link down below. Uh, people lost their minds about it, and it started like a two-week-long conversation about release dates, which still hasn't really ended. <laughs> which I'm I'm kind of over talking about release date stuff now, but it seemed extremely plausible. Uh, there was a release date because it was around the same time as uh, the SpongeBob new movie that's going to come out. Its release date, and it seems like quite a smart idea to release at the same time as the new movie. Bounce off each uh, each success to use that as promotion type of thing. Uh, so it seemed quite realistic in that standpoint. But then it was revealed when IGN talked to uh, THQ Nordic that basically. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't happening. That wasn't going to happen. They said, We're keen on getting Balfour Bottom rehydrated into the eagerly waiting hands of the fans as soon as possible. However, we've asked our magic conch shell when should we release it and are still waiting its command. We'll let you know once it is spoken. Firstly, I, <laughs> I love that response. That is a perfect response. Um, that, that, is, that is amazing. <laughs> I could not hope for a better response about a Spongebob release date than when well, we've asked the, the magic conch. hasn't said anything yet. We'll get back to you. That, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, the, uh, that's basically everything we have up to now. So that release date turned out not to be 100% true. We don't know if it's not the release date. All we know is that they haven't communicated clearly to Nintendo that that is the release date. So Nintendo was most likely making just a guess because of the new SpongeBob movie. They were just giving it the same time as that one. That's basically all we know at this point. Uh, the release date's still completely unknown and people are, especially on the Discord, are like picking up on little bits and pieces and like wordings and stuff like that and in like uh, in interviews and all that type of stuff that's coming out. And I still think it's there's basically just no point in speculating at this point. Uh, it's all, it's all useless more or less. Uh, we'll, we'll know when we know. Uh, but May seemed like a pretty plausible date, uh, especially to me. But yeah, again, we'll know when we know. Uh, but as of yet, nothing to really report on. Uh, next is uh, Pax East, which I don't know a whole lot about the whole Pax situation because I live here in Australia, good old Australia, which has finally stopped burning. Hooray! Um, but I know a few people who are going to PAX East, specifically Riders DX, and there's a few people on the Discord who are considering going as well, or who might be going, I'm not sure. But there's, uh, we do know that THQ Nordic is going to the event, and it's most likely, of course, that they'll bring, you know, Destroy All Humans, probably whatever Dark Sides is a game they're working on, and they'll probably bring SpongeBob. The question is really if there'll be any new updates in that. Hopefully there will. It would be kind of surprised if there wasn't anything new to talk about. It's been quite a few months since the last demo. Hopefully they're not just playing that same demo. If they are, 
a little bit disappointed, but I mean, I won't be too mad, but I'll be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> um, I hope we'll, we will get some new stuff. I'm hoping my presumption is this, because there's also word that they will come to E3. Uh, if they show a bunch of there, we don't really know. They didn't do it last year, but they might do it this year. Here's my kind of guess as to what might happen. And this is still complete guess, no information to back it up. This is just my theory as based on the the timeline of how things are going and how long it's been since we've gotten some major information. I reckon we will get a story CGI cutscene trailer at PAX East, which will show Plankton making the robots, all that type of stuff, and then a little bit of gameplay stuff, maybe fighting a boss type of thing. They'll shoot, they'll do like the most polished stuff, and then they'll have release date coming soon type of thing. Just like an actual trailer to tie people over, all that type of stuff with some cutscenes, voice acting, uh, revamped music, that type of stuff. That's what I'm imagining they're going to do. That's what that's kind of what I'm hoping they'll also do as well. So a trailer like that, still without giving us a release date, but actually giving us information, and then they'll drop a full, probably like three minute trailer at E3, which will have a release date, gameplay, all that type of stuff. That's my that's my guess. And also at PAX East, they'll probably have a different demo they'll probably let you be able to play the uh a now more polished version of the uh jellyfish fields level but they might also have uh downtown bikini bottom or something along those lines or a boss battle that's my guess and we'll also probably get some uh new screenshots around that time as well that's that's my that's my guess uh that's what i think might happen just because it's been so long since we've had any new content and i feel like they're kind of pushing it a little bit. They're pushing their expectation of how long uh, casual people, casual fans will wait. Because um, I know the more, everyone who watches the channel are most likely more along the lines of the extreme fans, uh, judging by the comments, <laughs> and more of the extreme fans. So we can wait quite a lot longer. We've been waiting quite a few years for this now. Um, but the more casual fans who will pick this up on a whim or pick this up out of basic interest not playing the original their attention and their interest can only wait so much longer i feel like they need to give us something remotely substantial they might release a um say they have a release date type of thing at pax i kind of it's 50 50 for me um and also also i don't really care that much uh, the game will come out when it comes out but I feel like they're pushing it quite a bit if they don't give us something of substance soon. Um, just because you can't keep on going with just screenshots here and there. Uh, and maybe it's a possibility that they just announced the game too early. Maybe they gave us that tiny little teaser a few months too early. Maybe they should have given it to us towards December rather than around E3 time. Possibility, I know no one would be very keen on that, but maybe that's just something they should have done so that these longer waits were less of a thing. Um, it, it's it's just my my thought pattern of a lot of stuff stuff because uh, people have mapped it out on the Discord how that we basically get news every two months, which is consistent, but and the news varies. <laughs> the amount of stuff varies. One one month we get a uh, you know a mini trailer that's like five seconds long. Uh, two months later we get a few screenshots. Two months later again we get like one image. <laughs> wow, that was a great wait. I can't I can't believe that. Um, and also this isn't me just being like pedantic and wanting the game to come out now. Um, I, I get very annoyed at people who talk about that type of stuff. It's like, oh, I just want to play the game now. It's like, the game will come out when it comes out, and I'll be, and I'll play it when it comes out. But I'm just speaking more on a stance of, if they really want to be successful, they really need to start pushing advertisement stuff hard and now. Uh, depending on if they're wanting to release it in the first half or latter half of this year, I doubt they're going to release it in 2021. I reckon it's going to be this year, uh, but just which end of the year it's going to be which side of the year uh but they really need to step on the advertisement uh a few posts on twitter isn't going to do it and a few mini trailers and a few screenshots released by ign is not going to do it it's not going to push the units they need to they need to step on the gas a bit with that um but yeah so those are my thoughts regarding all of this um 
Let me know in the description, uh, in the description, in the comments. I always mess that up. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about all this with the whole release date debacle which happened, uh, what we know so far about PAX East, with PAX East coming up very soon. I'm going to be doing some more videos on that with some other people uh, as we get more information around that. And also with what we know so far about E3. So let me know in the description. I did it again. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.